Hello world, this is Random Fix. In this video today we're going to be discussing fans and how you can keep your camper van free of any foul spells. And if you think that you can't get a fan inside your camper van just because of space, because you're installing solar panels, you're going to have a deck, whatever it is, I'm going to show you guys what I actually did and I was able to go ahead and make this all work. And the best part was that it was a very inexpensive option and I'm going to have a link to the actual product down in the video box below. And welcome to the channel guys. In today's video we're going to be discussing bathrooms and fans. So for the fan, we're going to be mounting it right here. And the reason we did it this way is we're actually trying to go ahead and make sure we clear everything. So Diego is going to use a punch tool and get ourselves a nice centering point and he knows exactly where he needs to go out to so he's making four little indents that way when he's up top he can redraw the circle and get this cut out and for when you're drilling the fan make sure that you have something underneath because a lot of metal shavings are going to come down so we're using this big old cardboard box if you're cutting near the seats make sure you use some kind of protective tape or paper there that way it doesn't get stuck in the actual fabric for the fan install go ahead and take measurements now trace everything out using those four indentations you made or you can just do a center hole and work your way around Now we're going to make a center hole and then work the jigsaw back. Now you make the center hole. Cool, so we got a bunch of holes that basically complete a circle. And we're going to use a compressed air. So we can see what we're doing and we're going to go ahead and just cut that out. So we got a jigsaw there, fully charged battery and a fine metal blade and we're just going to take our time and just work it around on the outer parts of those holes that we made. So we use a jigsaw and cut that perfect hole right there. Now we're going to get the file and clean that up. So it's kind of hard to actually make a perfect circular hole from the top, especially when you got the ridges here. So what you want to do is go ahead and file the rest of this down. Or if successive, go ahead and just drill a little tiny bit out. And that way the fan will just drop through there. So there we go guys, we are seated. Not bad, not bad. Got butyl tape on the bottom of the fan and the fan is about to make its eternal home in the sprinter here. So butyl tape is done on ground level to make it easier. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we get those wires in and make sure you file down the edges clean up the corners and stuff with acetone and a clean rag and now we're gonna go ahead and just pre-drill something smaller than the actual screws that it comes with it didn't come with those it didn't come with the screws so it doesn't come with the hardware you gotta come up with your own hardware so go ahead and pre-drill your four holes now we're going to go ahead and put the screws in and then we're going to go ahead and put some lap sealant right over the corner only and on top of the actual screw holes and put the cover on.
Go ahead and make your final adjustments using a hand tool. Now we are ready to go ahead and do you want to do the lap sealant first or just try to see if it clears? We could go ahead and do the lap sealant, it's much easier. To well we gotta screw it down so we'll go ahead and test it first. Okay, good. Gotcha. Yeah. I think it should be good bro. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Seriously? We cleared it by probably 1 30th of an inch, if there's such a thing. <laughs> and last for the fan, before we go ahead and finish up our connections and the little trim pieces downstairs, we're going to go ahead and just apply some lap sealing, guys, and go ahead and be generous on this. Make sure you get the top of every single screw hole and make sure that there's no chance that water is going to get in there so in, it's better to be a little bit more generous than not to put enough and I don't want to be up here again guys so this is going to be underneath solar panels I'm going to have to do a lot of work just to get access to this so please take your time with that and let me show you guys what we got going up here so the fan is actually right back here and it's actually blowing a lot of nice wind on my finger right here and what I did do just to protect it from the sun I was able to put some kill mat around that so the sun doesn't beat down on that and so far no leaks it works great and so if you thought about getting a fan this is a great fan to get and again you can make this work underneath your roof system here so so I have the flat van company roof system and this is able to work right underneath here. So I have my fan on a dimmer switch as well as the lights. So this is the fan here guys. It's installed here in the Sprinter and this is the upgraded model. Do not go and try to save yourself a few bucks by getting the weaker fan. So you definitely want something that's going to have some pulling power and this definitely does a good job of keeping the van free of all foul odors and once i got the fan installed all i had to do is go ahead and cut this insert shaft to length i used a multi-tool just like this and cut around here so that was pretty easy i tried it using a saw that was a big fail but this definitely did the trick and i did not connect the wires on the actual fan with the little three-way switch because again as I showed you guys earlier I went ahead and just went and installed a dimmer switch so this makes it a lot easier because it is a little bit of a noisier fan so keep that in mind so hey guys thanks for checking out the video I hope the video was helpful and showed you that you can install a fan in the bathroom and B you could have solar on top of it so it is a little bit of a tight fit, but it does work. And I would love to hear your thoughts. Please comment down below. And I hope you're having a great day. Thanks again. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Again, if you guys like the video, you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing as it would mean a lot to me. And it's completely free. I'll show you guys the rest of the van build, including some of the cheap little things like I did with the galley here. $100 galley, guys. You guys got to check it out. Super easy. And we'll see you guys on the next video.